Workhorse stock is just crushing it. The stock price rose from $2 in April to $30 and back to around $20 levels we see right now. To buy one share of Workhorse, retail investors are paying about $22 each. But do you know that some institutions are buying millions of shares for less than $2 each? Shocking, isn't it? Do you want to find out how? Keep watching this video until the end to find out. Hi, I'm Arshad Ahmed, founder of DIYStockPicker.com, an investment portal dedicated to help investors make intelligent decisions. This video is for informational purposes and please do your due diligence before making any investment decisions. Wall Street is pretty bullish on the workhorse stock. Four out of five analysts give it a buy rating. And these are the three main reasons. Workhorse has started delivery of the electric vans to rider systems. The company is also among the three finalists selected for the USPS contract to replace their delivery vehicles. The contract is expected to be more than $6 billion. The company also owns a 10% stake in Lord Stone Motors. EPHC, a SPAC, is merging with Lord Stone Motors, giving it an enterprise value of $1.6 billion. If Workhorse wins the USPS contract, the stock may see huge gains. But do you know that while you may be pocketing about 60% of gains, the lenders may be pocketing about 4,000% profits. How is this even possible? We will start by analyzing the income statement. One tip for you here. If you want to invest in the stock market, first learn how to read financial statements. This is the language of finance and the stock market. This gives you a real picture of the company and this is how you can separate the fluff from the real meat of the stock. These are the main highlights for the first six months of the year 2020. Net sales around $176,000. Total expenses of $16 million. Loss for operations of $15 million. Take a look at the interest expense and it is $111 million. Wait, am I reading that correctly? How much is the debt of a company that is paying $111 million in interest? To find out, let's take a look at the balance sheet. The long-term debt is $780,000. This does not make sense. Interest expense of $111 million on $1 million of debt. How is this even possible? And here is the answer to that question. There were two critical financing activities that happened in 2019 that answer our question. In 2019, a convertible note was issued with net proceeds of $39 million. Also, a Series B preferred stock was issued with net proceeds of $25 million. The maturities of the convertible note are as follows. $19.5 million in 2020, $18 million in 2021, $3 million in 2022. A convertible note is a special type of financing where a lender lends company money and the company has to pay back the interest and the principal can be paid back in either cash or common stock. And there is a fixed price set for the common stock ahead of time. In the case of Workhorse, the price was set for around $3 a share. Now Workhorse has to pay back the maturities every year in either common stock or cash and the only option they have is common stock since they have no cash from operations. So effectively in 2020, the lender Lenders get back their $19 million in shares priced at $3 each. So in a sense, they're getting about 6 million shares, $3 each. Isn't that a great deal? In June 2019, the company sold 1.25 million shares of preferred B stock priced at $20 a share. The dividend on these stocks is 8% and the dividend is payable only in common stock and not cash. And do you want to know what the price per share for the dividend is? It is $1.62. Yes, you heard it right, $1.62 each share. So if you do the calculation for the $25 million investment, the preferred shareholders are getting back their full $25 million in June 2023 when the shares have to be redeemed. In addition to that, they are receiving $24 million in dividends. And to top it off, for each preferred share, the preferred shareholders get a warrant to purchase 7.4 common shares. Isn't that a sweet deal? Just a little history of Workhorse here. They started out in 2010 as AMP electric vehicles listed in the OTC market. In 2015, they got uplisted on NASDAQ and for doing that, they did a reverse split of 10 to 1. The main issue with issuing so many common shares is shareholder dilution. Like imagine you went to eat pizza with your friends. You are eight people and there are eight slices of the pizza. So each friend gets one slice of pizza. Now what if eight more friends join the party? You will have to split the pizza again and slice is now thinner. And what if more people join the party and you keep slicing the pizza into thinner and thinner slices? And that is what is happening with your workhorse shares. Let's take a look at the shares outstanding for the workhorse stock, which is the total number of shares. 38 million shares in 2017, 50 million shares in 2018, 64 million shares in 2019, 
89 million shares already outstanding this year as of June 30, 2020. The management also acknowledges that there is a huge dilution risk from all the equity financing to keep the lights on for the business. The company filed an amendment to its articles of incorporation to increase the authorized number of shares of common stock from 100 million to 250 million. Basically, they can pump shares now day in and day out. So these were some of the eye-opening facts of the workhorse stock for you. Investing in the stock is very speculative and if someone is doing it for the long term, it is even more riskier. I hope you like this video. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you in the next video. Till then, bye.